YouTube, Chris here from High Island DIY. Today we're going to be attempting to make a new breech plug for a Rossi 50 caliber muzzle loader. Alright, I've got the barrel and the vise here. And I had to drill out the old breech plug because the person I bought it from never put any anti seize on it. And they left it loaded. And the breech plug had corroded itself solid in place and I got a really good deal on it because they couldn't get that out. After I drilled it out um, I was able to see the threads and it matched up perfectly to a 9 16 fine thread bolt. Just picked this up at the local hardware store and it threads in here. Here's what we're going to attempt to duplicate. This is, of course is going to be threaded for, to screw into the breech. A uh, 209 shotgun primer is going to sit here. This is going to be a 1 8 inch flame channel down to a 1 32nd inch pinhole in the end to concentrate that flame for good ignition. And then the end is going to be cupped to allow air space between the powder and the flame. Alright, so I have the approximate length that I'm going to need marked out on here. So that when I thread it in, I'll still have enough bolt left to work with. It threads in a little bit farther than that, about up to the black tape. Uh, it's a little bit harder to turn the farther in you go. The threads still need to be cleaned up a little bit. After getting the approximate length, I put a small bevel on the head or on the face of the bolt so that it meets up with the uh, back of the chamber. Just did that with a bench grinder. Now I'm going to cut this off just using a cutoff wheel on a handheld angle grinder. Here is the bolt and the vise. And I'm going to cut it off just inside black tape so the outside of my cutoff wheel is on the top side of what I want to keep for material. Okay, so there we have the bolt. Just a wee bit warm. Okay, now on to the next step. So now that we have our plug cut out, we have to figure out how to take it in and out. And a lot of breech plugs that I've seen they have like a small nut on the back that the primer actually sits into. So that would mean that we'd have to weld some type of a nut on the back here so that we'd have something to turn it in and out with. We also need to drill the hole all the way through and then just a pinhole in the back. We need to put a concave face on it. So what I'm thinking is a small nut like this welded on top of the breech plug and the primer can sit into that I'll drill it out a little bit bigger so the primer drops in then once this is welded on top I'll be able to use a socket to turn the breech plug in and out I'm going to use a quarter inch Irwin steel bit to drill out the nut Make it big enough to fit the primer inside.
Here's the nut after I drilled it out. So that'll sit on top of the breech plug. Our primer will drop down inside of that. Now I just need to weld the nut on top of the breech plug. And then once the nut is welded on top, we'll start to drill our holes. We don't want to drill the holes first because then there's a possibility of slag from the welder getting down inside that hole since it's so small and it'll plug it up before we even get to use it. So we're going to weld the nut first. I have the nut clamped on top of the soon to be breech plug. I've got it as close to centered as I can get it just by eye. I'm going to weld it into place. Now I'll show you what it looks like after the welding is done. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I still need to drill a hole through the center of it. Uh, instead of welding a nut on the top, I just trace the outline of a nut and then cut it with a file. Or just filed it to the shape of the head of a bolt. Because when you uh, weld a nut that small, most of it melts away and there's not much of a shape left so I need to drill the larger diameter hole up here for the primer to sit in and then I need to drill a small diameter hole the entire length of this so I'm gonna put it in this which is part of a pulley puller I'm gonna thread it in to hold it thread it in to hold it in place and then I can put this piece in my vise on my drill press so I get a nice straight hole going through alright so this is what I have I've got a hole drilled for the primer to sit in then it's recessed slightly so that the face of the primer sits even with the top then there's a 1 8 inch hole drilled most of the way through and about an eighth of an inch from the end it goes down to a sixteenth of an inch hole and it's concaved. It's not perfectly in the center but hopefully it'll give us a good reliable ignition. The only thing left to do is to screw it into the barrel put a primer in it and see if the primer fires correctly if the firing pin hits it right and then after that um, the only other thing to do is to load it up with a light charge and see if it'll ignite the powder correctly okay so there's the breech plug installed into the rifle I'm gonna drop a primer in it there's no powder in it right now I just want to see if the hammer and firing pin are going to set off the primer or not. Okay, the primer's in. Closes. We'll cock it. Got to point it at the floor. Oh, it worked. Perfect. Check the primer. Nice clean indent. Didn't pop out the back at all. Let's see if we can get the primer out. Primer fell right out. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. Hopefully you can see the indent on the end. It did not blow out the back of the primer at all. Primer set off completely. No problems. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the reason I made this breech plug is because I could not find one to buy. Uh, I contacted Rossi directly and they said they do not have the part in stock. 
I asked them when they'll have it, they said we don't know. I asked was it discontinued, they said no, we just don't know when they're going to be making anymore. So I scoured the internet and I could not find a retailer that had one in stock either. So instead of going out and buying a new black powder gun, I decided to try to make my own and so far it's a success. Uh, I would love to go outside right now and put a light load into it and see if the powder ignites correctly, but it's pouring outside right now, which I'm sure you guys could probably hear on the camera. So as soon as it stops raining, hopefully tomorrow, I'll get out and test fire this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>